Sagutan natin tong operation sa integer. So, let's start with addition. 3 plus 1. So, kapag meron kayong parehong signs, pwedeng parehong positive or parehong negative, i-add nyo lang yung number and copy the same sign. So, therefore, dahil parehong positive yung 3 at 1, add lang natin. 3 plus 1 is 4. And then, dahil paraho silang positive, the final answer should also be positive 4. Next, negative 2 plus negative 5. Sa pareho uli, tayo ng sign na negative. So, add lang natin yung 2 plus 5. We have 7. And then, kopyahin nyo yung same sign na negative. Next, we have negative 5 plus 7. So, this time, magkaiba na ng sign. Isang negative at isang positive. So, subtract nyo lang yung malaki sa maliit. So, 7 minus 5 is 2. And then, kopyahin nyo yung sign ng absolute value ng mas malaking number. Sa so, mas malaki yung 7, ang sign niya is positive. So, dapat ang answer is positive 2. Next, we have 8 plus negative 10. Again, magkaiba ng sign. Isang negative, isang positive. Subtract nyo yung mas malaki sa maliit. So, we have 10 minus 8 is 2. And then, kopyahin nyo yung sign ng mas malaking absolute value, which is 10. So, dapat yung final answer is negative 2. Next, let's have subtraction. So, we have 4 minus 3. Ang rule naman sa subtraction is, papalitan nyo yung operation na minus into plus, and then yung sign nung subtrahen or yung pangalawang number is gagawin yung opposite. So, kung positive 3 meron tayo dito, gagawin natin siyang negative 3. So, magiging ang final operation natin is 4 plus negative 3, and then apply nyo lang yung rule for addition. 4 plus negative 3, unlike sign, subtract nyo. 4 minus 3 is 1. And then, copy the sign of the bigger number, which is 4. So, dapat positive 1 yung sagot. Next, 9 minus negative 5. So, again, palitan nyo yung minus operation ng plus. And then, opposite sign ng subtrahen, ito ay magiging positive 5. So, meron na kayong 9 plus positive 5. So, bali, like signs, add nyo, 9 plus 5 is 14. Copy the same sign, which is positive. Negative 5 minus 4, so gawin yung plus yung minus, and then gawin yung opposite sign yung 4, magiging negative 4. So meron na kayong negative 5 plus negative 4, so addition of like signs, so add nyo yung 5 at 4, we have 9, and then copy the same sign na negative. Next, negative 8 minus negative 7, so gawing plus yung minus, then opposite sign yung negative 7 is positive 7, then negative 8 plus positive 7 will be, so addition of unlike sign, subtract nyo yung 8 minus 7, we have 1, and then copy the sign of the bigger absolute value, negative 8, so the answer should be negative 1. Finally, we have negative 10 minus negative 12, so gawing plus yung minus, then opposite sign ng negative 12, positive 12. So, add natin negative 10 plus positive 12. So, unlike sign, subtract nyo yung 12 minus 10, we have 2. And then, copy the sign of the bigger absolute value, which is 12. So, the answer should be positive 2. Next, let's have multiplication. So, simple lang yung rule sa multiplication. Kapag meron kayong like signs, either both positive or negative, ang product will be positive. Kapag unlike sign, isang positive at isang negative, ang answer should be negative. So, multiply the following, 4 times 3. So, multiply nyo lang as is yung number, 4 times 3 is 12. And since paraw silang positive, dapat yung final answer is positive. Next, negative 8 times negative 3. So, multiply nyo muna yung 8 times 3, we have 24. Dahil parehong negative, the answer should be positive 24. Next, negative 5 times 8. Multiply 5 times 8 first, it's 40. And then, isang negative at isang positive, unlike sign. So, the final answer should be negative. Next, 6 times negative 9. So, 6 times 9 is 54, unlike sign. So, therefore, the final answer should be negative 54. Next, divide the following. So, for division, same rule din sa multiplication. So, divide nyo lang as is yung mga number and then kapag like signs, the final answer should be positive and kapag unlike sign, the final answer should be negative. So, we have negative 30 divided by negative 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6 and since parehong negative, the final answer should be positive 6. Next, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Sa parehong positive, the final answer should be positive. Next, negative 12 divided by 3. So, 12 divided by 3 is 4. And then, isang negative at isang positive, unlike sign, the final answer should be negative 4. Finally, 15 divided by negative 5. So, 15 divided by 5 is 3. And then, isang positive at isang negative, unlike sign, the final answer should be negative 3. Now, it's your turn. So, try nyo namang sagutan tong problems and just comment your answer. 